Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video here on FBL Now. Today we're going to be going over my final team selection for double game week 20 and any transfers that I think I'm going to make as well. So if you're excited for the video, drop a like down below, leave a comment. What is your game week 20 team looking like? Subscribe if you're brand new and let's get into the video. So, starting things off, game week 19 has finally ended and I finished on 59 points. Got an assist from Andreas Pereira last night, which was quite nice. Unfortunately, though, Kepa conceding two goals meant that he did only get one point. Andreas picking up the yellow as well wasn't great. But yeah, I finished on 59 points. It was a really, really small red arrow. I think I started the game week on like 89k and I've gone up to like 90k or gone down to 90k. So, it's not like the worst thing in the world, but it's still one of those game weeks that... I feel like it could have been so much better, but it also could have been so much worse. My transfer this week was um, James to Shaw this week instead of James to Kukurea. And obviously, if I went Kukurea, it would have been an absolute shambles. But luckily, I went Shaw, and now I have him for the double as well. So I can count my lucky stars that that happened. But yeah, Kepa got me three from his double, so not really great. Trippier got me eight. Cancelo got me one. Shaw with the 15. Rashford with the eight. De Bruyne with three. Andreas Pereira with five. Martinelli was three. Uh, Darwin with one. Haaland with two. And then Mitrovic, my captain, got 10. Again, it could have been so much better if Mitrovic didn't get that yellow card. He would have got like 18 points because he was on like three bonus. So that would have been 18 just from the first game. And then he would have played Chelsea last night and uh, hopefully would have got something from that game as well. So it could have been so much better. Like... On the grand scheme of things, I can't be too disappointed because he outscored Haaland by um, like a little bit, I guess. But it could have been so much better. And I think that would have really, really helped out uh, my game week as well if uh, if Mitrovic didn't get sent uh, well sent off but didn't get the extra yellow card. And it wasn't even really a yellow card either. It like, wasn't a bad challenge. I think he was just in the ref's face like all game or something. So he kind of was provoking the ref. Um, so yeah, really, really unfortunate. But that is how my game week 19 finished. 59 points. A game week rank of 2.5 mil. Hopefully, I can finally get a green arrow. This is literally my, I don't even know, it's like my eighth red arrow in seven, it's my seventh red arrow in like eight game weeks. So, it's just been an absolute shambles. So, let's move on to my team selection for um, game week double, well, double game week 20. And it hasn't changed, obviously, from my last video, but I'm thinking of making some transfers this week. But either way, we've got Kepper in goal, who's got Crystal Palace at home. Again, Chelsea's form is just all over the place. And after that game last night, I'm really... I'm kind of wanting to play Ward, who's got Forrest away. But at the same time, I think Forrest are really good at the city ground. And I generally think we're going to beat Leicester. So it's just, it's just, who do I think will concede more? Chelsea at home to Crystal Palace or Ward away at, uh, well, Leicester away at Forrest? And I think Ward will still, con I think we'll score like two goals at home. I think uh, Forrest will. It's just how many will Crystal Palace score? Luckily, Crystal Palace aren't in great form either. So maybe that helps Kepa's um, case a little bit more. Um, so I think I will play Kepa, but... I don't know. It's not really a great situation. I really want to get rid of all my Chelsea players. I only brought in Kepa for the double and um, and again because they had some nice fixtures. But yeah, Chelsea, I just don't think you should be targeting any team. You shouldn't be bringing in any Chelsea players. I know that Jao Felix looked really good last night, but then he went and got a red card. So he's not even an option anymore uh, for the next few game weeks. But either way, Kepa at home to Crystal Palace. The back line consists of Trippier at home to Fulham, Cancelo away at United, and then at home to Spurs, and then Shaw at home to City, and then away at Crystal Palace. Trippier is an absolute bonus point uh merchant so I, i'm not getting rid of him anytime soon the only problem is that obviously they're gonna blank um if newcastle get into the final of the uh, the carabao cup which again they probably will they probably will beat southampton and so they will blank in that game week as well as the winner of united and forest going on like stats and stuff and teams as much as i don't want to say it i'm expecting united to beat forest and newcastle to beat southampton and then united and newcastle to both uh, going to the final and then both blanking in that game week. So I don't really want to bring in a bunch of United and Newcastle players. And I've already got four. I've already got Trippier, Shaw, Rashford and Almiron. So that whole idea of Cancelo to Botman, I don't really think is a great idea as of right now. Again, if if Newcastle lose to Southampton, which they easily can, I mean City did, um, then obviously it doesn't become as much of a situation. But I, I can't see Newcastle losing to Southampton. They're just in such good form at the moment. And uh, obviously Southampton aren't, I guess. They, they deserve the, the win against City, but on another day, I don't I definitely think City would have won that game. Um, so yeah, I'm probably not going to go anywhere near any more City, where any more near any more United or Newcastle players just because of those blanks. Um, so I'm, I'm okay with four, and again, I'll probably have to transfer one of those out, um, or just going with like ten players. So I'll have to cross that bridge when I get to it. Cancelo is such an issue. Like 
I, there's a for and against for getting rid of him this week. And again, I'll talk about it more in the transfer section of the video later on. But Cancelo, I don't think he's going to start either games. I don't think he's really going to get anything from either of the games. But I can't really play anyone else. My only other defender that I can play is White, who's got Spurs away. So there's not really much point in playing him because I think that Spurs will score in that game. And then Patterson's injured. Um, but Cancelo, like I say, I don't think he's going to start either of those games. He's probably going to come on for a cameo in both of them. Um... Because obviously he started in the in the cup and you know he just wasn't good. He just wasn't good. I don't know what's happened. I don't know why he's out of form so much. But on the other hand, if I get rid of him for a different city player, like who am I going to bring in? Like Stones is a doubt. Again, I'll have to wait for press conferences later. Laporte's back now as well, so that's going to like shuffle things around. You've got Lewis, who's 3.9 mil, who's you know getting starts in the prem. Ake's there as well. Like they're they're constantly being changed around. And again, I would get rid of him for a defender this week, but I don't think they're keeping a clean sheet away at United or at home to Spurs. I think they concede in both of those games, potentially not the Spurs game, but if they do concede in both games, then I'm probably only going to get like four points in total, and that's only if they concede one goal in both games. So there's not really point of taking a minus four hit to get rid of Cancelo to bring in a different City defender who might not even play as well just to then watch them concede in both games again if the fixtures were a little bit better then i'd probably go for that and if i'm going to bring in any city player now it's going to be uh edison for kepa but that means that i'd have to get rid of Cancelo as well i've already done a transfer this week from darwin to kane so i'd have to take a minus eight just to bring in a goalkeeper in my case it's just not worth it i don't think there's much point in doing that especially because the fixtures aren't that good um you know kepa at home to crystal palace is probably better um, than united away and spurs at home even though chelsea aren't that great so i might just do it next week when they've got wolves and get Get rid of Cancelo and, and bring in Edison and take a minus four next week. But for this week, I just I can't really warrant doing it because there's just so much doubt over the defenders as well. You know, Akanji could play there, Ake could play, Laporte could play, Stones could be back and play, uh, Lewis can play. Um, there's just too many variables, so there's not really much point of getting rid of him this week. And he's got a lot of money saved up as well in him, so I'm just going to get rid of him next week and then be able to like sort my team out a lot. Like I could I could even you know get rid of him and then bring in like. Um, I don't know, a Liverpool player, maybe, if they double. Like, when the hopefully the doubles get announced, and then I can, you know, sort that out as well. But, yeah, that's just my can my Cancelo kind of thoughts. I don't think there's much point of getting rid of him this week. And then Shaw at home to City and Crystal Palace away, nothing wrong with that. I mean, a lot of people are thinking about bringing in Dallow as well, who is cheaper. Now, he did get taken off in the Cup. Again, that was just precautionary, uh, according to uh, Ten Hag. So, I don't think I'd read too much into that. You have to wait for the press conference later. Um, but as of right now, I'm, I'm absolutely fine with, with Shaw and Trippier. And again, there's not really much point of playing White over Cancelo, just simply because... You know, I don't think any of them are going to keep a clean sheet. Uh, of course, this is going to all blow in my, back in my face. And, you know, they could keep a clean sheet away at United and at home to Spurs. That could happen. It is football, but we'll have to wait and see. The midfield consists of Rashford, who's got uh, who's got City at home and Crystal Palace away. Again, in the form of his life. I don't think he's on penalties. I know he took one in the cup uh, when, uh, when Fernandes was on the pitch. But again, I think he went straight back over to like Fernandez as like a thank you just to keep his like home scoring record going so I don't think he's on penalties uh, although it was a good penalty but yeah he's got City at home and then Crystal Palace away uh, De Bruyne who's got United away and Tottenham at home I think this is where De Bruyne gets a big haul he's he's been he's due so much uh, it's really annoying that he didn't get anything else in the other games like if you've got Salah is it worth um bringing him De Bruyne in for him this week I think yeah because if you brought Salah in after the World Cup um, you're already like 10 points clear than the people that brought in De Bruyne. So you can easily use four of those to bring in the player with the double and then another double in 23. That's just my thoughts on it. Um, but yeah, if you're a De Bruyne owner, you know, I'm the same. Just, we made our bed, just got a lie in it, but it's just what happens. And then Almiron at home to Fulham and then Martinelli away at Spurs. Uh, that's fine. I, absolutely fine with my mid midfield. I think the majority of my points will come from the midfield this week. And then I've got Mitrovic, who's got Newcastle away. He's rested. Newcastle's a tough fixture, but he could get a pen. And then Kane is my transfer this week. I've brought in uh, Kane over Nunes. And again, Nunes is a doubt now anyway so i'm more than happy with that decision like i think most people are going to be getting rid of nunez for a martial or a uh, kane this week 100 and then harland who again i'm still potentially going to triple captain i don't know i just don't think there's going to be another point in the season where there's no champions league he's not injured de bruyne is not injured this is i know the fixtures aren't great but this is this is two games that you know harland's probably going to play in both and then also there's like a five day rest between as well where, you know, in the other doubles, it might not be that case. So this is literally the double game week where he potentially plays 180 minutes and uh, De Bruyne plays 180 minutes as well. And Pep needs the games as well. He needs the wins. So 
yeah, I, I, that's the. I, I don't know. I'm kind of in two minds about it because then in the other game weeks, you know, I can play my free hits and the wild cards and stuff to attack the other doubles. But I don't know. It's a weird situation right now. Let me know if you guys are triple captain. I don't know whether to do it this week. I, I've not got long to decide, but we'll see what they say in the press conference and stuff. And again, I might even have to get rid of Cancelo anyway. Like if Pep comes out and says, you know, Cancelo's not playing, you know, he's not going to do that. But if he does, then I'll obviously have to um, think about things as well. But either way, that is my starting 11 this week. Hopefully we can get some points. And again, moving on to transfers, I've pretty much already spoke about it i've got 0.4 mil in the bank there's not a chance i'm going to go near any other newcastle or united players um until like we know if they're in the final and they blank in that game week uh, my transfer next week will again like i say it will probably be cancelo out and then edison in so they can uh, i've got them for the wolves game um, which is obviously a quite a nice fixture for um, City and I'd expect a clean sheet in there so I can probably warrant the minus four hit and then the Spurs game isn't great but then they've got another double as well so I definitely need a City player that I know is definitely going to play the other City player that I potentially think about bringing in this this weekend would be Mares because Mares seems to be under a lot of favor right now for Pep so he's really a good option but yeah I think the only nailed City players this week are Haaland, De Bruyne and Edison and again potentially Mares as well um, but again I can't really do that without taking like a bunch of hits and stuff it's not really worth it I still need to get rid of Patterson as well like Patterson is a player in my team that is just losing money he's only four mil but at the same time once I get rid of Cancelo and bring in Edison I might have like a mil or so to spare so I could easily bring in another player for Patterson, who potentially could double or something like that. You know, there is like, uh, with Van Dijk's injury, there's probably a Liverpool defender that I could bring in. And I know Liverpool have the worst, um, <laughs> they've got the worst offensive record right now. They're just terrible. But at the same time, if they get a double or something, I could be sniffing around a Liverpool player. And um, we'll have to see what happens with that. But yeah, that is pretty much the team I'm going to lock myself in with. But again, if anything happens on the press conferences, uh, I could easily change my mind. Again, triple captaincy, I'm still into minds about make sure to follow me on twitter i'll post my team just before the deadline on there just so you guys know if i do make any changes or anything like that but that is going to be everything for today's video if you enjoyed drop a like down below let's try and hit 50 likes leave a comment what is your double game week 20 team looking like subscribe if you're brand new it's everything from me have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time peace